Welcome to Take 5, your 5-minute five inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. We read the following story about Jesus and his disciples in the book of Matthew chapter 8, verse 23 to 27. It says, Then he got into the boat, and his disciples followed him. Suddenly, a furious storm came up on the lake, so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are going to drown. He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. Hallelujah. Have you ever imagined, you know, this story, but without the disciples? What would have happened? Nothing. Why? Because, first of all, the Lord was not affected by the storm, but the disciples were. And second, the Lord was there with and for all of them not just for one or two people, for all of them. That's why, you know, when they reacted, they did it as a group, not individually, saying, save us. You see, the enemy has done a great work in our societies with, you know, the promotion of individualism, which is in opposition to what God has established. God has established the family, and it was the family that gave birth to society, not the other way around. God did not create man to evolve alone, but in a family. This is why, you know, we must always pursue and live our lives in accordance with the Word of God, and keep in mind that living in isolation is not part of God's design. Amen? This boat where the disciples were located is like our house, and the people inside represent our family members. Our house will be strong if the Lord is in our midst, and if the Lord is part of the life of the house. Our house will be strong if the Lord is the foundation. And this leads us to understand why the salvation of each member of our family is crucial. This concern must always be at the top of our list when we come before the Lord. Never stop claiming a member of your household for the Lord. Remind the Lord that He is the one who established the family, and that this is his will. He desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. So my prayer today is that the Lord will visit your homes and touch all the members of the family that are not yet saved. I pray for unsaved spouses, children, parents, siblings, that they will get to know the Lord Jesus for themselves and become his disciples in the name of our Lord Jesus. Let this be um, your declaration today, like it was Joshua's declaration in Joshua 24, 15. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. May God bless you and please join us next time for another Take 5. God bless.